Welcome to Review Recapped. Today we will be showing you an American sci-fi comedy movie named, Death Becomes Her. Spoilers ahead. Sit back and enjoy. The film opens up with Madeline performing a dance at the theater. In the audience are her childhood friends, Helen, who is an aspiring writer and her fiancé Ernest, who is a plastic surgeon. After the show, Helen and Ernest meet Madeline in her dressing room. Madeline starts flirting with Ernest. Soon Helen feels that Ernest might fall for her friend's glamorous charms, and later in the scene we see that her fears soon prove to be correct. Ernest calls off his engagement with Helen and marries Madeline. Seven years later, we see Helen to fall into a depression, becomes obese, living in an apartment with numerous cats. Her days consist of watching a film starring Madeline in which her character is killed, we see that she rewinds the scene over and over again to see her die in that movie. Later, Helen is put into a mental institution, but even after several months of therapy, she still has not shown any improvement. Her psychologist advises Helen that she needs to completely eliminate Madeline from her mind. In a twisted way, Helen takes the advice really seriously. Again after seven years, we see Madeline receives an invitation for her and Ernest to attend a book release party, called Forever Young from Helen. During this time, Madeline's career has also slowly gone down. She seems to be only worried for her youthful looks. While Ernest has become an alcoholic caretaker and is miserable in his married life. After receiving the invitation, Madeline goes to her regular beauty clinic to look more youthful but the beauty assistant refuses to help her, because Madeline already had her treatment done before. Soon she meets the owner of the clinic, who hands over her a card of a renowned woman who could sort her out with a beauty treatment. Frustrated Madeline, tears the card and throws it in her purse. Next we see Madeline and Ernest attend the party, both are eager to see Helen, assuming she might be overweight and ugly. To their surprise, their old friend Helen turns out to be beautiful, young and in good shape. On seeing her, Madeline becomes jealous and completely loses her mind. While Ernest gets attracted towards the beautiful young Helen, Later that same night, after the party Madeline goes to see her young male lover. Where she finds out that he's cheating on her. He tells her that she's gotten too old for him. On hearing this Madeline gets more upset, and drives back to home. While driving she takes a look at her old self and starts crying. Heartbroken, Madeline then looks at the card, that she had ignored and had thrown away in her purse. She then decides to see that renowned woman Lyle the same night. After some time Madeline, enters the old mansion, where she finds Lyle, who is young, beautiful and attractive. Later, Lyle reveals her age to be 71, on hearing this Madeline gets completely shocked. She tells Madeline her secret is a very expensive potion of a drink, that gives a person eternal life, with an everlasting youthful appearance. To prove herself right, Lyle puts a slight cut on her finger and puts a drop of the potion on it. Soon as the potion is put on her finger, Madeline's hand heals, leaving her in a complete shock. Madeline quickly purchases the potion, and drinks it to the last drop. However, right after she had the potion, Lyle warns her to take care of her body. Before Madeline leaves the mansion, she looks in a mirror, and is amazed to see her wrinkles disappear, and her body become firm once again. She remarks to the guard I'm a girl. And the guard simply puts his finger to his lips, indicating the level of secrecy Madeline must now adhere to. Meanwhile, Helen goes to visit Ernest, in the absence of Madeline. Helen attempts to seduce Ernest and convinces him to kill Madeline. She explains her plan of drugging Madeline, and that they would declare to everyone that she died drunk while driving. Helen leaves shortly after convincing Ernest, and Madeline returns home, happy to be youthful again. Later we see, Madeline and Ernest get into an ugly argument. Having been tempted by Helen's plans, he ends up pushing Madeline down the stairs instead of saving her. Madeline falls off the stairs and badly breaks her neck lying on the floor. Unsure what to do next, Confused Ernest makes a call to Helen, informing her about Madeline's death. While he is still on the call, Madeline gets up from her fall, with her head is twisted backwards and becomes the living dead. Ernest freaks out completely on seeing her. Madeline quickly fixes her head and Ernest drives her to the emergency room. The doctor takes a look at her, and gets shocked himself to find out that her heart has stopped beating and that she's technically dead. When they find she neither has a pulse nor a temperature above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, they take her down to the morgue. Ernest believes that a miracle has happened, and that Madeline was resurrected. He steals her from the morgue, and takes her back home. Ernest notes that Madeline has lost color, so he goes to the mortuary where he worked, to get paints and other things to fix her body. However, this process is interrupted by Helen, who has come to remind Ernest about their plan of killing Madeline. Ernest tries to calm her down. Meanwhile, their voices get higher, 
Madeline overhears Helen's intended death plot for her and appears before the two, with a gun. Madeline ends up blowing Helen, with the gun, into the garden pool with a hole in her abdomen. Later we see, Ernest and Madeline decide to get rid of Helen's body lying in the pool. The best scene of the movie we all enjoyed watching was, that Helen emerges from the pool leaving Madeline and Ernest shocked, still alive with a hole in her stomach. Madeline soon realizes, that Helen too had Lyle's potion. Ernest watches, the two women arguing about taking the potion, and engaging in a battle, so he quietly goes back upstairs. After the fight, the two end up hurting each other physically, but finally comes to a reconciliation. Going to Ernest, asking him to fix them. Ernest agrees, but on the condition that he is allowed to leave them forever, once he has finished. The girls agree immediately to never contacting him again. After repairing the girls, they are at first overjoyed, but then realize that their bodies require upkeep now, and only Ernest can provide that. Helen suggests they drug him, and both girls force him to have the drink with drug in it. However, Ernest refuses to drink it and tries to leave. In desperation, the girls hit Ernest over the head, knocking him unconscious. Next we see Ernest waking up next to swimming pool of Lyle's mansion, dressed in a tuxedo. Lyle is throwing a party for her clients but has taken time to meet Ernest, at Madeline and Helen's request. Lyle shows Ernest the effects of the potion, and encourages him to take it as well. However, Ernest is reluctant, seeing a downside to living forever, he starts thinking practically, that he doesn't want to watch people around him get old and die, his body could be injured in accidents, and most likely he will end up having to cope with Madeline and Helen forever. He snatches the potion, and runs off. The ladies chase him to the roof where they trap him. Ernest knows that they only want him to drink the potion for their selfish reasons, and not because they actually love or like him. Hanging over roof, he drops the potion bottle, where it crashes a few stories below. He then falls off the rooftop himself, but the pool saves him. Somehow, Ernest escapes the mansion in a vintage Porsche. Helen and Madeline, acting on Lyle's orders, attempt to track Ernest down. Later, they find out Ernest had already packed his bags and headed to the airport. It is then, they realize that both of them are now stuck with each other forever and will have to help each other maintain their deteriorating appearances. 37 years later, Ernest finally dies, and a funeral is held for him. The priest is showing praising Ernest's achievements and tell how he had become a mountain climber, found love at the age of 50, remarrying and having six children with his second wife, as well as built an institution for women to study their behavior. During the sermon, the preacher claims that Ernest has obtained true immortality through his family. The preacher even mentions his jokes about the living dead in Beverly Hills. In the back of the church, Helen and Madeline, wearing heavy black veils to cover up their faces, are listening, and upon hearing the priest's final words, Madeline is shown making fun of the priest while exiting the church. Outside the church. The two women, whose faces look ugly and far worse due to their constant touch-ups, begin to argue. Helen accidentally slips on a can of spray paint she dropped. Helen is in danger of falling down the chapel steps, with Madeline just smiling at her. However, Helen isn't going down alone, and grabs her friend too along with her. The two tumble down the stairs, and their bodies shatter into various pieces at the bottom. The movie ends showing both the women in their shattered state. Helen's broken head asks Madeline's broken head that if she remember where they parked the car. Hope you enjoyed the movie. Help us grow please by subscribing and turning on the notifications.